Welcome to Friday. Welcome back with me. My name is Kevin. And today, I'm gonna show you the app that I made. Well, this app can <coughs> actually control a Lego robot, and actually it's any kind of Lego robot, as long as like in the shape of a car. And for this particular one, well, it's like this simple five-minute robot. It's like one of the most basic things everyone can build. And as is in its name, you can build in literally under five minutes. And <clears throat> that I made here is the this is the front page with <clears throat> the four basic controls. Well, it's not yet connected. And it has got in our page instructions and about me. And so now, to, on how to connect it, I've already put in the instructions here step by step, but I'm just gonna explain it again here. <clears throat> so first, on the, on the intelligent brick, you might wanna turn it on first, head over to Bluetooth, <clears throat> and make sure it's visible. Because if it's invisible, your phone won't be able to find it. So make it visible, and for step 2, on your phone, turn on the Bluetooth. And <clears throat> the next, this thing should appear in rarely used devices. And in this case, I'm using this one. And if you leave here, it should appear on paired devices. But <clears throat> on here, it's not yet connected. And there's already an indicator here. And now to actually connect it, <clears throat> tap on devices. And this device should appear in here. In here. When you tap it. And if it works, it should turn to connected. And in the intelligent brick, the indicator should change. And with four PC controls, this will turn left or right. And the slider here is to control the power. You can go make it low. Although the minimum power is somewhere around here, because if it goes any lower, the machine is actually working, but well, it's just not strong enough. And I could go up to 100, maximum one. And if you're already done with this, you should press disconnect here. The indicator should change again here, and it should go into not connected. And for the code inside here, well, it's already very, very complicated. But <clears throat> let me just explain everything one by one. So for this part, it is all for the buttons, which makes the robot well, move. For example, this is the forward. <clears throat> and if it's touched down like this, the robot will go forward. And when it in here is touch up with which means it's released so as soon as you press it down the robot will move and as soon as, as you release it it will stop this also applies to the other buttons which <clears throat> is on turn counterclockwise and turn clockwise and backward and here this is the part for the connecting one so in here, if it is connected, it should turn green, as in here just now. And if it fails to connect, it should turn red. Or, if you press disconnect. 
and the two buttons here is only the ones to go to either the instructions or the about me. So now for the about me screen over here. Well, this this one here is to press back, which returns to the front page, and in here the insta button is the button that will <coughs> go to my Instagram page. Which is here. And the, the button one here is to my YouTube channel. Well, both of them are actually the same. Just that the link here is different. And here is on my YouTube channel. And for the instructions part, there's actually not much going on in here other than the step by step on how to connect it and the button to the explanation video that you're watching here right now. And for further information, you can ask me on my Instagram direct messages or my email. And for the robot in the icon, also in the middle of the controls, well, this is all you need. That's it, all of this. And to assemble it, I have here a part with the L-beam and the this H-shaped connector on each side with two black pegs here, which I just attach here, and this angular beam with three black pegs and one this blue thing here, which I just put here, and it connects directly to the next indulgent brick like this. Same goes for the other side, just like this. And for the wheels, I'm using this this basic small one. And on how to connect it to the motor, I just have an <coughs> axle five studs long like this, and a half stud bushing, which I just put it put here. And then that's it for wheels. Same goes for the other side. For the back part, I use it <coughs> beam 15 to connect it for over here. And for the back wheel, it's a little bit complicated, but here I have a <coughs> an axle 7, a full bushing and a half one, which I put in over here, and another half one over here. So that way it it's made to be symmetrical. And after that, I just put these two with the P5 on here, here, and another two full bushings on each side to close it down. And for the back here, it should fit perfectly over here. For the back one, I'm not using any tire because that way it can slide anywhere with with the two drive motors still working perfectly. And for the wires, you can actually just use any wires. Well, although you only need to put them for each motor. I made this for the force to be B and C because there's like the, the basic two ports for a car shaped thing like this. And that's it. Actually, for the robot, it doesn't have to be this shape. You can have like, I don't know, a million different combinations of shape, robot shape like this. As long as you have two motors and an intelligent brick, that's it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Good luck making your own app or you can download it or install it from the Play Store immediately. Link is in the description. And anyways, don't forget to subscribe.